everyone, Michelle Fixit here. Um, we're in the bathroom and we're going to be working on some organization with Dollar Tree stuff. I have a handy dandy little heater going right here so that it's getting a little bit chilly. Um, so basically this, all of this that you guys can't see right this second, uh, is full of randomness. Just complete and utter randomness. And I don't think Cam's going to work very long because he's currently red, unless he's very confused. Ah, he was confused, so now he's working again. Okay, cool. So basically, I have all these cubbies that I put in this bathroom, which is still a work in progress, like everything in my life right now. And I have Dollar Tree bins, um, or totes, or baskets, or whatever you want to call them. Um, I also have handy dandy Dollar Tree labels, and I have three different markers. Two of which did not come from the Dollar Tree, one of which did come from the Dollar Tree, probably. And so what we're going to do is we're going to start pulling everything out, because I was, I had rented rooms at different stages in this house, and so I'm kind of like trying to make it where it's a home now. Cam is now confused again, because I use my hands too much, <laughs> so he gets really confused by me. I just unboxed him, and like I'm trying to get used to him, but it's good that he has a green and a red light, because then I know when he's like bored with me, or whatever's going on. So, I'm going to start off with having one that's empty, which I don't know if I currently have. I'm just kind of pulling different ones. I will choose this one as my empty-ish one, and we're going to start labeling things. So the beautiful thing about organization is once you make homes for everything and you label the homes for your things, your life gets a little bit easier, okay? So what happens is, if I'm labeling this as dog needs, then anyone that takes anything out of this box will know that it's dog needs. Well, this is the philosophy that I've just had in my different homes that I've had throughout the years. People are like, why do you label stuff in your house? Don't you know where everything is? I'm like, the point is, is that there are other people that frequent my homes. And so if I have people that frequent my spaces, they need to know where stuff goes and where to put it back. Or if I have children, they need to know where things go. So we're going to label this one as dog. Well, this marker does not have a fine tip, so now it's going to be very frustrating because if I'm labeling things, I do wish that they are pretty. And the silver or the gold does not work very well, so let's try the silver. So of these three options, which I will show you, the black does stand out the best. However, the problem is is that it's not a fine tip, so it doesn't look very good with penmanship. So I'm going to go with silver. There are little bits of silver in there, and the tiles and everything. So this one is going to be dog supplies. And you guys are in selfie mode. Selfie mode is my preferred mode because that way I can see what you guys can see. So it's not as legible as I would like it to be, but it is legible. I know, it's not legible to you guys because you're in selfie mode, but you're just here as I'm doing my normal stuff. Plus acting as a little bit of motivation to see what I've done or what I need to do, where I make boo-boos, then you guys get to call me out on it and say kind of stuff. Which I really haven't had too much of, actually. So, as I label totes, or as I go through labeling totes, I put them on the boxes. And for me, I'll show you guys how I do it. I love the Dollar Tree ones because for me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to center this here. And then that way, all of them will look perfect and uniform. I was going to do, I had different totes at a different time. I had like wooden ones, but then I ended up adding so many crates to this that it just didn't work well for me. Center it. And then what I do, because I'm super special, is I get my tape, which is not from the Dollar Tree. Um... But Dollar Tree does have tape as well. Oh my goodness. I think my daughter used this the last time. I have just a smidge of tape right here. <laughs> Damn. When I'm the last person to use it, I tag it so I know that I'm the last person to use it so I don't go through this battle. So I've 
I'm fairly confident that Husband Cat now knows when. Oh man, this one is like so totally messed up. I think I might have to pull my knife out of my pocket. I need to pull my knife out of my pocket. You guys don't know I typically carry a knife on me. Good job. I want, I'm trying to learn to do the cool thing of like just making it pop out and it doesn't do it. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not super fanciful. And you guys make me so self-conscious all the time. So kudos to creators out there that sit there and see themselves all the time. Because you guys have me self-conscious over like a double chin thing. You guys have me self-conscious over my weight. And I have a healthy BMI. So I don't even want to know what you guys are doing to other people with this camera stuff. This is ridiculous. Because he's always like, can I have some tape, Harvey? No, no tape for you, small child, because you make boo-boos with the tape. And if this is husband cat, then I'm going to mad husband cat. I'm messing up my videos, messing up my productivity. There we go. Now we have normal tape again. Because I flag it. It's weird that you followed me around, Cam. It's super weird. It's probably weird that I record my life. Um, excuse me, I'm over here. But you're green. Can we come over here? Oh, hi. Don't be like the other camp. Our tape back in our handy dandy tape dispenser. There we go. And I over tape it. And I will put two pieces of tape. Oh, it's way over taped. It's not good. And it's not going to be perfect. You guys are looking at all these influencers' houses and everything has to be perfect all the time. You will constantly be driving yourself cuckoo, trying to keep up with everybody. So just get things done. Get them done. And if you have the opportunity to make them better than they were, fantastic. And if not, fantastic. You're always trying to think that you're not doing things as great as whoever it is is putting stuff on their channel. It's going to drive you bunkers. So if this thing will let me. So you see this one is taped, and so it has tape across the whole thing now. So if it gets wet, it's not a big deal. We're going to do the same thing to the other side. So now we have somebody... So that way, if somebody puts it in the wrong way, then we'll know. See, that's why you guys are in selfie mode, because if I was just doing my stuff, then I would not have known that you guys were not following me, and now, in the future, you'll make me self-conscious that I have a double chin, which in reality, I really don't, but it looks like I do. If I work on my posture, maybe. No, it still looks like a double chin. That's fine. I've had multiple babies, and I think I look pretty good, and that's all that matters to me. Alright, so we have a nice little area of tape. Yes, I can take you down and edit and show you what I'm doing and all this other stuff, but... You guys are getting glimpses of my life. Unless somebody gives me a camera crew to show all the stuff that I do, it's, this is going to be it, but you got. So I started the tape line here, and then I ended the tape line here, and just double over here, and now we have one for doggy stuff. And doggy stuff, we don't use very often. So doggy stuff is probably going to go up a little bit higher. There's buggy stuff in this one. So, doggy stuff is now going to be there. Next to doggy stuff, probably should be kitty stuff. And instead, it's body wash. Oh, this is when I got Tessman Cats and stuff. So this is boy stuff. And eucalyptus stuff. Clear out the sinus cavities. And more body stuff. 
So, we are going to rinse off the buggy stuff. The other dead buggy ones, I'm just going to dump in the trash can instead of rinsing out. And someone's going to judge me and say that I like bugs or something. I don't know. doesn't matter to me. You guys are going to judge and say your little comments regardless. And these videos are for people like that. These videos for people are for people that are trying to improve upon their lives. And I want to be a little helpful person. Or just, you know, you're bored and you want to see what kind of stuff Michelle makes it up to. So maybe you're like somebody that like wants to switch me and then like you're like, oh look at that person. She's such a bad person and she's organizing her stuff. There you go. I don't care. Alright, so this is going to be cat stuff. Cat stuff. Yes, that is exactly how I'm labeling it. I'm put this one on my handy dandy cup. And this one is also going to say cat stuff. And yes, baby shop friend, I write all the time. And see, with the little red light, now I know that my little camera guy is bored, or has stayed idle for too long, and he's like, I turned myself off to conserve battery, or because he's dying, I don't know. But he's going to stay exactly where he's at. And he's fine with me. He's going to pretty much stay exactly where I'm at right now. So we have one cat stuff label. Put our other cat stuff label on. We're going to turn this guy off because he's starting to overheat me. <sighs> and we have to work on finishing this bathroom. Because this bathroom was never completely done because I had people occupy my house. And so I had to just like scramble and turn stuff together and then work on it as people didn't need to use the only bathroom in the house. on it and this box has four bars on it so now this label looks like it's lower that's not cool why did the large tree change their baskets that's super duper not cool so this one's gonna get centered in the middle and it's gonna stand out next to the cat one maybe i should use this one for a different i'm gonna use this one for a different one that's going to drive me bonkers if they're not lined up Look at my exhibits. Boop. Boop. Wait, was it me? Am I the cuckoo bird? No, no. So look at this one. Four lines. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco! I changed it to baskets. They're the same size and they still nest together, but this one has to be by itself. So you're going to be there. So this one, which has some random baby stuff in it. And some random buggies in it because buggies in the bathroom and they die. Probably because the kitties don't like coming in here. So you will be the cat stuff. Ciao. I know, I'm so entertaining, guys. Normally, if I didn't have you guys, I'd be listening to something on Netflix, something to do. I mean, I don't know who's going to watch these videos, but, like, if you can't deal with me doing what I do to entertain myself while I'm entertaining you, so it doesn't sound like a good relationship. I'm going to pause you guys so I find something interesting. All right, so we have, like, the lost 
Pirate Kingdom or something on. I don't know. If you guys watch Netflix, or if you don't watch Netflix and you do YouTube stuff and it's like historical stuff, that would be great to listen to, but without subtitles, because I typically listen to whatever programming I'm um, doing stuff with. Let me know. I like listening to stuff when I'm working on projects. My favorites are um, autobiographies, biographies, history, weird, unusual facts, stuff like that. So if I'm entertaining you, you guys can find ways to entertain me. And you just send me, like, send me things that you're interested in. Well, send me things that you're interested in that I also share the same interest in or that would be interesting for me to listen to. Um, including, if you have a channel, I'll support little small channels because I'm a little small channel. Because I'm just trying to entertain myself while I'm working on projects because this is not enough stimulus by itself. Recording myself, recording me, like, just this, it's not, it's not enough. I require lots of stimulation. And someone's gonna be like, ha ha. Okay, so do we have any cat or dog stuff to stick in the bin? We do. We have some kitty flea shampoo. And look, let's see if we can get this guy to work. This? Aha, he's back. Hi! So we're gonna stick this in the cat stuff. It's not too tall. this is for baby wash or is this flea stuff so this is the blue and red flea thing so what I'm going to do since I know what it smells like is I'm going to label it accordingly as the blue and red flea stuff or flea blue blue flea probably blue flea with the silver one because the black one does not have a fine tip and it's going to drive me cuckoo that these are silver but it's better than them being all nubby down and not looking good so this is Blue plus red flea shampoo because for some reason every now and then we get fleas in the house. It's very annoying. It's mainly that we get fleas on the animals in the house and the crazy cat lady gets kind of crazy and uh, all is not well and to fix it Baltimore house. we don't like fleas because the babies are flea magnets the furry babies are flea magnets and it's not good times for anybody you know who's not a flea magnet me they don't like me i don't know why they don't like me but if i actually start getting bit by fleas i know there's a huge flea problem because they don't like me all right so the rule of thumb if you didn't know is that Anything that can go on a cat can go on a dog. Not everything that can go on a dog can go on a cat, though. So you always have to remember that. This is baby stuff. This is more flea shampoo because we just started dumping stuff in. So cat flea shampoo. And that's why I like keeping them separate because I don't want the kitties to have a problem because they get puppy stuff on them. Oh, my goodness. I have so many things with so many weird things. What is up here? And I have to cut this... Um, I have to cut this basket down because it is not going to work very well for where it's at. You can't see it, but it's up there. All right, so these are the ones that we don't need right now because we've used their sizes. So um, I'm going to take over right here. So this is going to be Michelle. Can you stay? Can you stay up there? Thank you. You know, sometimes the props do not work with me. They fall. They just, yeah. So he's like gravity. 
All right, and we're gonna do one for husband, cat, husband, cat. Yes, I call him husband, cat. He answers to husband, cat. Oh no, we have a problem. We have a problem. Because I like these so much, using this particular size for these particular baskets. Of course, I have run out of them. Oh, man. I mean, I guess I can make them where they different ones match. Oh, I hate it when they're not uniform. I like things to match. I know, they're the same color, the same kind of basket, and they're different labels, but it's just this weird thing about me, okay? I like things to match. Man. All right, well, husband cat can use these little wine ones. So, husband cat, <sighs> husband cat, and eventually, when it annoys me enough and I don't have enough time on my hands, or I have too much time on my hands, I will change them all. So, husband cat doesn't get the big, big label. I didn't count. I didn't prepare. This is spur of the moment. Reporting is spur of the moment. I think it's fairly obvious that I'm not pre-doing any of this stuff. What? Wait. No. I didn't. I didn't do. I didn't do four Michelle things. So mine aren't going to match at all. He's like, why isn't she stomping her feet? Those are the noises she makes when she stomps her feet. And I have to have a little thin label now, too. This is ridiculous. I'm going to do husband cat's labels first. Here they go. Let's do two labels. I did four labels. didn't do four labels. Got distracted. Some other stuff. So, husband cat. There you go. Although, he should be impressed that I'm back to labeling. He's going to be like, I didn't think he had enough time on hands to be a labeling cat. Well, I had enough time on my hands to decide that this bathroom, in particular, is going to get organized and then painted as Baby Hulk allows with my time so that I will have a finished project space because I am tired of having not enough finished projects. I put my stuff on the back burner because that's what mommy cats do. That's what parents do. So what certain people do is we put our needs on the back burner. And we take care of everyone else's stuff. And then we don't take care of our stuff. And then we slowly drive ourselves crazy by not taking care of our stuff. So, because husband cat is here less frequently than I am, he gets a singular basket, which is going to be in this basket. I don't even know what this is. Oh, it's a little lighty uppy thing. Look. like dying but it's there all right so husband cat gets this isn't really for him I mean I guess it's for him it's this eucalyptus stuff if he wants to use it he can use it but I bought this for whenever we have like steamy stuff going on not between me and husband cat when our noses are stuffy we take steamy baths so we run the shower and then we steam up the room and it opens up your sinus cavities and helps you from getting so sick and this is cedar, wood, and sage. That's yes, totally husband cat kind of stuff. Uh, fresh mint eucalyptus. It doesn't smell very eucalyptus-y. And then uh, lavender escape. These are all things that I purchased because they were supposed to be smelly things. All right, and this is Miss Mary's stuff that she ran on my left here, minus the diaper and the baby wipes, so it just got tossed up. So, she has this thing, which I'm going to donate. And then she has Shimmer Mango Passion, Shimmer Body Mist. 
Oh, some type of hand lotion. And a bunch of little soapy things, and if he's toothpaste. Okay. Somewhere else. Okay, all of these little soapies. Okay. Everybody go bye bye. Alright, and then we have this floofity thing, which I don't know if it belongs to husband cat, cat or not. It probably does not, but just in case it does, I'm sticking it in this stuff. And then we have my no shampoo. Sensodyne toothpaste. Again, don't know if it's husband cats or not. Just aqua fresh, but not be husband cat. Sometimes I know husband cat stuff and sometimes I don't know husband cat stuff. Things that I'm not sure about. So, husband cat stuff, wifey cat stuff. So, Michelle stuff, let's label that. And this is all you do. It's like when you have a few moments, if your children are asleep, if you have children, then you say, you know what, I'm going to do this today. Or if you had a whole day where you haven't been able to do anything, then do something. Just conquer something. And if you have to write it on your day planner after you've done it and then cross it off, just to remind yourself that you were doing productive things yesterday, do it. Because there is a fast track to feeling like you have not accomplished anything in life. And then it will make you super sad. And I particularly don't want to be a sad cat. I want to be a happy cat. And like, I was super self-conscious for a while about talking to you guys about like my perspective on life, my cat stuff, even though I belong to the cat stuff. Um, and that like, people would be like, oh, Bacatus, Bacatus. But like, there are some people that talk about like sparking joy and thanking your clothes for having had them in your life and all these different things. And like, we're supposed to be all accepting on stuff and then if we're not, then like we're jerks. And it's just this whole big thing. So like, I try to have a wholesome perspective on life. I try to find ways to entertain myself. Yesterday when I was at the baby shop, I had a guy ask me if I was a ballerina because like when I'm standing there, I can't see it. I haven't moved my feet around and I am acting I'm like, I try to be elegant. I try to be proper. I try to be visually appealing to me and making it seem like I am a confident, happy cat because I am. And it's this little game that I play where it's just like, it's an enjoyment factor for me. And I can entertain somebody else. And it's like, oh, look at that girl. Like, she looks like she's a ballerina. And then like, you're bold and confident enough to ask me if I'm a ballerina because you think that I'm so elegant. Dude, that's going to make my day with complimentary stuff. I am not the person that gets insulted or anything else about compliments or people telling me that I'm attractive, or that I'm, you know, doing nice things with my children, or that I'm good at whatever my job is, or any of that stuff. People that want to be sensitive over that stuff, you have to start learning how to take your compliments and be happy that you're getting them. Because one day, it's like I tell Isabel all the time, one day, someone might not be telling you you're beautiful. You might just be another face in the crowd. And so you should appreciate those kind of things. Like I tell Isabel every day that she's beautiful, she's intelligent, she's wonderful, all these wonderful things. And she's like, Mommy, you only say that stuff to me. And it's like, because one day, Mommy might not be here to say those things to you. One day you might not hear that your hair is beautiful every single day. One, one day you might just be getting picked on and you're like, oh, I wish somebody would tell me that stuff. And I want those to be the memories of her childhood. How wonderful, awesome, and amazing she is. Because that's part of my job as a mommy cat is to make my kitties feel great about themselves. And if I can help other people along the way, then I will. And if that means that I start calling everybody in the world a kitten, and if you comment on stuff and you want to be called a kitten, and you want me to be your mommy cat, cool beans. doesn't bother me. I'm good with me. My children are happy and healthy. Fish. Two or three at least. Working on the third. And you know, I'm good. I have a lot I have a lot of things that I need to accomplish. So that's just a time money equation. I either spend a bunch of money or I spend a bunch of time on it. It'll all come in time. And sometimes you just have to be still and 
wait for the difficult things to pass or push your attention on things that are really difficult and need your attention more. And I have different things that require my attention, so I'm okay with where I'm at. And people show their true colors whenever you are in times of despair. And don't ever forget who helped you and who tried to hurt you whenever your life was rough. Because those are the people that you have to remember. Yeah, some people will try to squish you. And some people will try to help you. Alright, so we have Dove Shampoo. Charlie gets his own little basket. No, he really only needs like one basket. But Izzy, Izzy's baskets are right there. Izzy's basket's kind of overloaded, so I almost feel like Izzy needs to have the two basket, and then since Charlie is shorter, he's not going to have stuff. Charlie's stuff right here. Ugh. This is Izzy's stuff. Oh, this is Charlie's stuff. This is so big of this, or this different stuff. Um, that, this is Izzy's stuff, yeah, because her little bin is getting out of control. We have Charlie toothbrushes. We have Sonicare. I love Sonicare toothbrushes. Again, I'm not fanciful enough for anybody to pay me for any product stuff. But this toothbrush I had to buy because I was in travel and I didn't have one. And yes, I am that special with a cat because I am special and weird. And it can get charged by the charger for my toothbrush that I've had since I was in high school. Of course, I've changed the head numerous times, but it's cool. Sonicare stuff is cool. Alright, I'm going to put after bath stuff in here. So like my toothpaste stuff is in there. And we have more shampoo and conditioner. More toothpaste stuff. The reason I can't stand the carrying case is a travel toothbrush that is no longer a travel toothbrush. Um, one of the random things and topics that happened for a little bit. Uh, hair polish or serum, which I never used. Um, excuse me, little guy. You're supposed to be following me around. Hi, welcome back. Yeah, we're over here. Um, that stuff. This is face scrubby stuff. That's face scrubby stuff. This is husband cat stuff. This husband cat normally just sticks his stuff in my stuff, and I'm like, girl. Because at the other house, we have separate bathrooms, so I have stuff. And this, this is like, you know, we have all of our bathroom stuff in the bathroom. Oh, look, I have a contact. I had to go in. More contacts, so I should go in there. And I have a hair thingy. Some conditioner, guys. Or a little random toothpaste. I bought this little, this is not it. I bought one that's like charcoal, and I'm trying it. I didn't really notice a difference. If you guys notice a difference, let me know. That little scruffy is yucked. Uh, the green stick mask that's supposed to make all your pores stuff come out. It did not do anything like that for me, but I still have it because I'm trying to use it for random lighter. Because I try to keep random lighters. I have medical bracelets. I don't know. They're just in here. And I have almost empty minus the deceased moth. Ten. See? Organization. So now I have two of them. All right, so this row is the little loopy things. That row is all by itself. So then Isabel can be, hmm, she can be a square. Because I'm nervous with running out of stuff. So Isabel stuff. There's a cat meowing outside. It's not one of our cats, crazy cat lady, but somebody's cat is outside meowing. There's a square. Isabel stuff. All right. So this one is going to be an Isabel stuff. So she gets this little square. Might have to pause you guys in a minute because Charlie may still be fighting going to sleep. Oh yes, you just opened the door. Hang on. All right. So you guys get paused.
Alright, so you just need another bye bye. So, back to Isabel's labels. trim out in the hallway that I need to continue to work on, um, but I figured I'd start with organization first, because that centers me more so to finishing a project does, um, because if things aren't organized in my life, I just, I don't do well with it, I don't. So there's one in the tent. Oh, man, this is another Isabel tote. Then there's this one because this one's empty. And then I'll sort her stuff out. Similar fashion to how I sorted my stuff out. And I dumped the gun. They don't need the tape just yet. Uh, I gave her squares. Hopefully she doesn't get annoyed when her stuff is right there. If so, then I'll switch her stuff with my stuff. Isabel. Stop. Oh, Stuff, so it's like, hey, you don't know how I organize, just how I organize. My life is nowhere near as organized as it used to be once upon a time before my life blew up. But I'll work on slowly getting it back there. And if you want to be extra fanciful because you have more time than me, then after you like over tape it, you can get a straight razor and you can cut here and here and that way everything is seamless and actually we can, we're not so pressed for time that you don't have to do that. So you just very, very lightly score it. There you go. Mm, just kill it down. It just makes it look more organized and tidy. You see? It's not really much of a difference. It's one of those things where, like, if you have time, straight edge, the sides of it, bring it down, and make it pretty. Or you can be one of those people that buys all the super expensive things. When I bought these, it was still the dollar tree, as in a singular dollar. These are not dollar like 25 baskets, these are dollar baskets. Um, I like the dollar tree. If you have the resources to spend bunches of money on organization stuff, go for it. Um, if you want to save your money and spend it on other things because that's what your life needs, do that. Just make sure you over tape. Since I'm not showing you guys, I'm just going to go through and do it really fast. And just make, like, just barely putting any pressure on there. And then peel it up. Fill it up, tear it down. Bam, done. Bam, done. Is this somebody going to know that these are Dollar Tree baskets, or are they just going to think you bought some cute baskets? They're not going to care. You're not going to care. I've been to the container store. 
I just won't spend that kind of money on baskets. Doesn't matter my economic situation. It just seems kind of silly to me. Like the budget ones. I mean, if they wanted to buy super expensive stuff too, I could do that. But I just don't believe in wasting money on things that you don't need or that don't make your life a lot better. Sometimes I get paid one for it. It's not a big deal to me. Okay. So now Isabel has her Isabel baskets. And they look better than the mommy and daddy cat baskets. So we're gonna fix really quick. My husband cat will notice. Baby, you organized the bathroom. Good job. He's a good husband cat. He notices when I do stuff. Guys out there, if you have a relationship and you're watching me because you're bored, just or not even just guys, just anyone. If you're in a relationship and you notice something small, shoot him a text. Shoot him a text. Tell them in person. Let them know that, you know, you notice their efforts. Because everybody, everyone wants to be noticed. You want to be noticed if you have the grass. I cut myself. Oh, you want to be noticed if you do something, and so do they. Man. I'm always trying to somewhere to hurt myself. It's always on something dumb. And you guys are over there, you're not even paying attention. I'm injuring myself over here. I wasn't even all the way over there. How did you even do that? Look, I'm bleeding. And no, I'm not going to put peroxide and all the other stuff on it because the one time that I did all that stuff like that I was supposed to do, I ended up getting MRSA and staph and strep and had an anaphylactic response. The only medicine that was supposed to save my life. Man, this thing is really trying to poop. Um, and so I normally just wipe it. And then I get nervous when I get hand injuries because stuff. It's still so it needs a question. Yes, putting tape on it. So hopefully it'll help it stop bleeding. I make fun of me. I don't care. Do you know me? I did not know that this Netflix thing was going to be cussing so much. I'm just adding more taste to it. Also, don't do what I do. If you cut yourself, go get a band-aid, do whatever you're supposed to do. Don't sue me because you saw me put clear tape on my finger in my home while you were watching me while I was organizing, okay? Now it's just like this little collection of things. Hey. You know what's I think it's really funny is that probably none of my family is watching except for like Izzy. <laughs> Maybe like one or two other people. 
I'm like, Dad, I got a YouTube channel. If you miss us, you should watch us. No, 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 we tell me the stuff that they say. Like, Mom, did you look at my YouTube channel? She's like, oh my God, I said they're busy. Uh huh. Well, when you miss us and you complain about it, we are here. All right, and this is our little cool, happy, steamy guy that cannot fit with husband and cat stuff. So I need to find a home for it. Probably, um, I don't know where I'm going to stick it. And I have my towel up there, my towel area. That's for my bigger towels. But now I have like some smaller towels. So I'm probably going to stick them up there. I don't know. So we have Michelle's stuff, husband cat stuff, Isabel's stuff. I'm feeling really guilty. I feel like because husband cat is a bit taller, the husband cat stuff is over there. And that means my stuff is going to still be in the same area. Because I always start with that and I forget about my stuff. But is he short? So... Izzy's stuff is here. Izzy's bin is right here. So she has all of her Izzy stuff. So she has Izzy shampoo and Izzy conditioner and Izzy toothbrush stuff, which will go over here. And she has more kids shampoo stuff and she has toothpaste. So it's going to be like, just like how mommy says, before and after bath stuff, same thing. And she has like her fluffy stuff, so I'm going to just fall. And I decorated this with like ponies and unicorns and I just overly taped it because she wanted the stickers on it. It looks kind of poopy, but it made her happy. She has lots of shampoos and conditioners and lots of toothpaste. She's constantly telling me she has little toothpaste. And she has these little crayon things. Child is a lot of stuff. That is so sad. Crayons. So All right, so into the trash you go. Oh my goodness. Alright, so husband cat is up there by his lonesome. Mommy cat is up there. Isabel's stuff. Charlie cat is short. So Charlie cat doesn't need to get his own stuff. So Charlie cat's stuff's gonna be here. Let's do Charlie Cat stuff now. And since Sissy was a square, Charlie's going to be a square. Charlie stuff. I was working at someone's house one time and they were like, is that like a special like handy woman bra or something? Because you're always like sticking stuff. I'm like, no, I just got, I got space. So no, just normal. Normal thing that I just shove stuff in. But I think my fingers stopped bleeding. If you guys wanted to know. See? Maybe. So I started to stop bleeding. So the taping sort of worked. Someone out there is like probably so mad at me for doing that. My dad happened to watch the video. Like, why did you put tape on your fingers? I was really, that's my girl. Ha ha ha. My sister could be watching these videos. Mm. I can't believe she's doing that. Why is she recording all of her stuff? This is as much. My life that you are going to get. So I acknowledge I have one. I choose not to associate. So I'm gonna get like a cease and desist. Never mention the Ricardo sister ever again on your YouTube channel. Gerbicados. I can entertain myself all day long with thoughts. I have an inner narrative. And you guys are lucky enough to get some of it on the outside. To a point in my life where I just don't care. I want to teach you guys about organization. I want to stop repeating myself on stuff. 
when I'm done, I want to have happy little kittens, dirty ones, human ones, happy little mechanical children, happy husband cat, happy family. I prefer it if all the people would just start being more happy. It seems like everybody's been pooped on so much. I just want to do little grumpy cats for everybody, and that's very obnoxious to deal with. I'm going to have to clean out these beds at some point, yes, I know. And he's like not even a baby anymore. He's a toddler and I'm so proud of him because he's such a big cat. And he's like fearless and strong and he has a little temper and he's like, he, I call him baby hawk. He acts like he's baby hawk. He really does. He rearranges furniture. I mean, that child, he's, he's hard to keep up with. He's making up for all that lost time where he's just snoozing and snoozing and having a hard time with life. He's doing fantastic. I'm very, very proud of my cat. Again. All right, so he has that in there. So I think we should have one for medical. This is like, okay, this is that little baby thing. It goes with his baby shower. So this is technically his. Let's put this in there. And then this is peroxide and feminine hygiene stuff. Um, and then extra little dental flossers, which are great. If you guys don't have dental flossers, you should. Um, I don't really need to refill it right now. So I'm going to label this one as like medically close from their hygiene stuff. And you know, potty language is not cool, guys. Alright, and these little cutter guys, I use those for something else. So this is gonna go with finally stuff because that's in case we need a diaper for him. I don't know if crazy cat lady left this in here or not, but I'm gonna ask her if it's hers and she'll donate it if it's not. Dog yeah. And, and I'm missing dog stuff. He's I have nothing in that dog bin. So I don't know if Crazy Cat Lady used my dog shampoo or what happened, but I'm missing some. I don't know. Um, so dog and cat stuff goes up there, and then I still have four spaces. I don't have four. Husband, cat, Michelle, Charlie, Isabel. And there's four of us. Oh, because of the space with the size. Oh, I can do like the small towels in this one. I know that's going to kind of look funny. But the small towels are for cows. Towels are for kitten. This kitten is smaller than me. I use bath sheets, so my bath sheets go up there. You guys can't see. So I'll put my regular sheets here. So that'll make her happy because it'll be easier for her to reach them. And then this is the shady stuff. This Irish spring. John's, and I don't want to throw John's stuff away, even though he's been gone for a long time. Um, I'm going to fold up my little bath mats. I'm going to stick this little bath mat in here. And then that is one of Charlie Cat's little special dino towels, which is super cute, which is he really wants one. This is a bath mat. It's a little teeny tiny one that I bought from Dollar Tree just to have it in case I need it because I either we'll use a bath mat for a while or we'll go through like four bath mats in a day. It all depends on the children's moods. 
No, it's in there. Actually, I'll just put it in. Weirdo guy. Up here. All right. And what should we have up there for the rest of the stuff? This one's going to be medical, so it'll be up high. And now that I put the towels there. I don't know. This one's gonna be medical though. Nope. Not a black one. A silver one. Sorry guys. Medical. 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 We'll make two medical ones. They'll be the ones up there. Because I'm fairly confident that I'll start putting more medical stuff in here because medical stuff should be in the kitchen or the bathroom. Medical. Medical. I think my tape thing made it where it stopped bleeding all the way. And we cut away the edge to make it look clean. I mean, you can also do the label makers and stuff. I like my handwriting, so I don't mind looking at it. Um, I have label makers. I just, honestly, I don't use them very frequently. Yes, is it on the pie? I am actually finally starting to get a little sleepy. I don't get much sleep because Charlie still randomly wakes up in the middle of the night. So some nights he is awake every hour and a half. 45 minutes or an hour or max two hours. And very, very, very rarely he will sleep several hours through the night, but then I wake up because I'm like, something's wrong. He's asleep and, or he hasn't woken up. So he's kind of like having a newborn that's just always a newborn with his sleep. And then he's like having six babies at the same time because he is like super strong and adventurous and really smart and can figure out very creative ways to get into everything all the time. And so that little unique combination of being sleep deprived all the time, medically complex, things that I'm always having to watch out for, and then like full force crazy baby, um, makes it where it's really hard. It's been really hard to get stuff done. And like having you guys as accountability where it's like, oh, even though I'm pre-published until June 17th, as of right now, in case you guys wanted to know. Um, I want to give them some like random how-to videos so you guys never know where I'm at or you'll never know where I'm at because like like you guys are in Mississippi right now you're the audience is in Mississippi doing Mississippi or coming back from Mississippi and then you guys be going somewhere else and then like you'll get random how-to videos so you don't know if they're like a week old two months old you don't know because I can pre-publish if I couldn't pre-publish you would not get so much content out of me it would not happen all right, so this one is going to be medical. Medical. And then I don't know if anybody watches all my contents or, if my, co or my comments. So then, like, I get video requests sometimes. So I have some video requests right now. I think that's kind of cool. Um, so when those come out. You know, you all know if, if I did that today or in June or July or January or February or whatever month it is. You'll never know where the crazy cat is or what, what the crazy cat is doing. Because somebody like commented on one of my videos that posted and they were like, ah, this is the one with four. 
I can't do this as the medical. That one has four too. Do you have four? I'll go back to my previous thought in a minute. Okay, here we go. This one has four. Or this one has five. So anyways, somebody was like, if you think it's hot in October or whatever it was, try, you know, don't come down here at whatever time. And I'm like, dude, I put the date on the video just because it published on whatever date it was does not mean like that was done in July when it was at feels like 122 degrees. Like, I'm from Mississippi. I know how hot it gets. It was funny though. Because that's I guess that's what's gonna be confusing about my content is people think that like I did it that day. Yeah. I don't know if it was intended to be done the way that I'm doing it. <laughs> but it makes my life so much easier. Because I could drop you guys like a sack of potatoes and not worry about you for months. But I use you guys as personal accountability to not just be pre-published on my random cat adventures until June, but to also try to give you guys how-to videos, boxing videos, random driving videos. So basically, if I don't say the date in my video when I make it, whether it's because I forget to or I do so intentionally, which everyone gets asked me about, then that means that I can publish it whenever I feel like it. And that gives you guys better content because I know that the content that's out there right now is not really that great because I've been recording for a few months and I've been getting a smidgen better. I mean, you guys weren't on a selfie stick before. You're on a selfie stick in the bathtub right now with a little camera person that, that falls asleep. But see, I can wake her up. So stuff like that, we're like, before, I didn't have someone following me around, so you guys would just be like parked wherever. And then like I chattered a lot more. I mean, I, I'm still a chatterbug. I like talking. But I don't talk to just talk. I talk to try to educate. And now I don't know what else to stick on these things. Medical, cat stuff, dog stuff. I guess that one's going to be... I don't know. What else do we what else do we keep in bathrooms? You guys don't talk. That's the frustrating. Like you guys will give me your input later. And I'll be like, oh yeah, that's a great idea. I should have put that one in there. But everybody has their own little cubby or cubby eats. Cubby animals. Mm. I have this stuff from whenever I was like trying to make dentures for people. I, I do like so many things, you just don't even know. Um, so I guess this one will be cleaning. This will be the cleaning tote. Yes. Give me luck. Uh, uh, da, da. That one is going to be a spray that says clipping. This little pirate whatever thing is playing. I'm not a fan. Oh no, don't tell me about the squares. I need squares. Squares. Ah, green paint marker. Oh, where's all? No squares. Ah, I found a square. I found a square. Cleaning. Boop, boop, boop. That one is broken. This one 
side. But I have earrings that like are poppable, so that way you can like mess up my ear lube or something. I know I had someone on like my working on my trailblazer video, which I didn't realize I was getting in some of this position with you guys in the camera and all that stuff. I don't care, whatever. Um, but somebody was like, oh yeah, you know, it's all fun until you like, when your earrings, your hair gets messed up. I'm like, dude, I am a woman working on a vehicle that's under a lift that knows what I'm talking about. And the only thing you can do with your grumpiness is try to act like I'm going to injure myself because I'm in a drive and I have earrings on. It's like, I am absolutely overly aware of where my body is at all times because I'm a woman. Because I have had not nice things happen to me in public settings and I have to be aware of my body and my surroundings at all times because sometimes people think that women are easy targets or prey or whatever. And because I work on machines and machines have little moving parts and I am very aware that if I am moving with certain movie things, my hair goes up into a bun. And my face and my earrings should never be low enough to have a vehicle that has anything that's oscillating or moving to have something happen with my earrings. Anybody that gets their face, if, if it's close enough for my earrings to get snagged, uh, I'm gonna lose my nose or my ear anyways. That's what I have to say about that kind of stuff. That, that thing, Made me grumpy. I still have an extra medical one. I mean, two medicals. Or three medicals. Um, so stuff like that. That's obnoxious. Don't say crap like that. Don't let your sexism crap show. I mean, let your sexism stuff show, I guess. Because evidently you were intimidated by the fact that a woman probably knew more about vehicles than you did. Which is cool. Because clearly you need to learn that women can do anything men can do, and oftentimes better. And my daddy taught me that, and told me that the whole time I was growing up, and that is ingrained in me. And I'm proud of that. And my mommy cat did it too, so both parents were pretty good. They were both good and both bad in their own respective ways, and I love them. They were not perfect by any means. And no, I did not come from a nuclear family. Both my parents did the best that they could and provided the most that they could for resources and all the other different little things. And I had different exposures to different things, sometimes positive, sometimes negative, and I made most of it. And I learned as I went through my adult life different things. And not every person is a completely bad person, and not every person is a completely good person, and sometimes people are just poopers because they've been pooped on too much, and so they want to be poopy. Am I boring you? And sometimes they want to be poopy to other people. I have a feeling that you're going to be like Cam, and I spent extra monies on you, but I mean, you at least don't drop my phone all the time. But if I go over here, then you need to come back. You don't need to sit there and stare at the, the, the shampoo and the curtain and the curtain that I have to fix. And then I got to do extra trim and it's because it got complicated and you know what? It's very frustrating. So now I'm going to keep talking to you because you're a camera person. I know. Anyways, I'll give you guys an update on the bathroom. Oh my goodness. I have really been doing this for an hour and eight minutes. You guys are going to give me accountability on how much time I spend on certain things too. So we have Isabel stuff, husband cat stuff, Michelle stuff, Charlie stuff, cleaning stuff, medical stuff, dog and cat stuff with the crate that I have to trim down to smush in there. I had to put trim up with the window. It fell out when it was cold and I was pregnant and I just kind of threw it in there and I threw a towel in there and yeah, I know I got to work on it. And I also have to finish the ceiling and I have to do this trim right here. This trim is done. This is all fine. I did all this. This just needs to be painted and caulked, but I just had a million billion different things. I mean, it took a lot for me to even put in all these little accent guys and to like finish this stuff up and put these guys in without having the rest of the bathroom done. And I also have eucalyptus stuff there and I have a little shower guy that's there. Um, 
And I have my shower curtain is I broke it and I didn't break it. I some cat broke it on accident. But yeah, my life is a work in progress. So nothing is perfect. Nothing is awesome. There's certain areas in my life that are cute. And I have certain areas in my life that are not cute. Like this window is cute. But this window is not the way that I want it to be. Even though it's got the cool stuff on it. Because you guys don't know. But I'm going to point it out to you. There's a line. And that's because I... I had this stuff here and I needed the transference because I really don't like curtains that much um, unless it's for insulation and stuff. Um, so I prefer this stuff because it's transparent people can't see. And it brightens up the space because when I got the house it had this very gross curtain thing on here. I'm going to do some before and afters on the house at some point once rooms start getting a little bit more finished. Um, so you guys can see how bad it was <laughs> before you poke at me. Um, but yeah. You know, it's a work in progress. And I love this guy. That little heater guy is so cool. I'm gonna make a video about him because he is a super, super awesome little heater guy for small spaces. And yeah, he take I made him take up the whole outlet because I didn't like people toggling back and forth. And I go back and forth on if I'm gonna do a motion detector in the in the bathroom. We have them in Manassas because like I like them. But then like if you're taking a bath and stuff, you have to leave at them. I don't know. Oh, and I had to redo my nails. But hopefully you guys enjoyed spending one hour and soon to be 12 minutes with me doing randomness in the bathroom, which was labeling and organizing, which at least is something that I can mark off my list because now I know all of my stuff is organized in the bathroom, <coughs> except for in the cabinet, which I will do another day. And maybe it gave you some inspiration. Um, I meant to, and I completely forgot, probably because of the small space, that, like, I can do the hyperlapse things, and I'm going to start doing videos like that, too, for you little people that have, like, short attention spans, so you can see me, like, run around and, like, randomly talk. Okay, bye! See you next time!